Hello and welcome back to Product Placement. So in case you can't tell by the title card, this is our Easter special. Yay! So as of the recording of this video, I only found one item for Easter so far. Um, I found it at Walmart. I haven't found anything else at Walgreens. Um, I am going to take a trip up to Target at some point in this week. Uh, so if I find anything else, it'll be included towards the end of this video. If not, it'll just be the one item. So we'll find out uh, after I finish this. So, as I said, I only found one new item for Easter this year. So in case you can't tell by the lovely rattling of the bag that we always hear, it is once again M&M's. I don't believe I've tried this flavor before. I may have. I honestly can't remember the old Easter videos. I don't have time to go look at them right now. But this is M&M's Easter Sunday. And it's a nice cream sundae, because get it, Easter's on Sunday always, so it's Easter Sunday, but this is an Easter Sunday, as in an ice cream sundae, get it? You, 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 get, you, get, you get what they're doing there? You get the sundae? Okay. Um, so, <laughs> these are white centers surrounded by milk chocolate, so I don't know if it's just going to be white chocolate surrounded by dark chocolate surrounded by the candy shell, or if the white center is some type of a cream or milk or what so let's <coughs> hold on I need a drink oh Jesus why <coughs> why did I do that oh god ah, much better Okay, one more time. I seriously can't open these. <laughs> Why, M&M's? Why do you do this to me? I mean, look at me. I'm the size of a fucking house and I can't open a bag of M&M's. Why? <sighs> it's going to be a three-minute video of me trying to open a bag of M&M's. I can't believe this. Anyway, I'll be back when I get this open. <sighs> I seriously can't open it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really trying. I am really trying. I cannot open this bag. I think it's too hot in here. My hands are getting sweaty. Um... One more time. <laughs> I'm going to end up like, the M&M's are going to be raining down everywhere. I'm not even going to get to try them. <coughs> okay. Here we go. For real this time. <sighs> Fucking Christ, man. It's Easter Sunday. Give me a break. <laughs> I'm not even <laughs> kidding. Look at this. I got a slight tear here. Let me see if I can do some surgical procedure with my fingernail. You know what? Fuck it. Like, if you rip it this way and tear the whole fucking bag in half, it opens right up. Which is what I didn't want to do. Okay. So, there you can see all of our lovely pastel colors. I guess I'll try this one. So, uh, we got pink, yellow, blue, and white. Or actually cyan, magenta, yellow, and white, which is almost print colors. So, enough stalling. Let's... I'm winded from trying to open the fucking bag for four minutes. Um, yeah, let's try and see how it tastes. Easter Sunday. Cheers. I actually don't know what flavor that is. Um, oh, that's a weird blend. So when you first bite into it, you get the normal milk chocolateness of the M&Ms. And then whatever filling is inside there, the white that it says, 
um, it's not white chocolate, but it starts to blend in and almost tastes like a marshmallow, uh, like a, almost like a toasted marshmallow. I mean, they're filled with lovely marshmallow fluff. Let's bite one open and see. Yeah, so, don't know what that is. Definitely not white chocolate. It's not marshmallow. It's almost transparent, almost like um, coconut shavings, but it's not coconut. Wow, I really don't know what that is. Um, it's definitely good, though. It could just be cream. I think it's just like a solidified form of cream. Um, probably similar to what was in uh, the Hershey's Kisses, I believe it was, that had the cream filling in the center. It's kind of like that, but the way that mixes with the milk chocolate and the candy shell, it actually sort of tastes like you're eating, kind of tastes like a bit like a ice cream sundae. I, I get like the chocolate ice creaminess of it. Um, but overall, it just kind of tastes like marshmallow. Either way, it's good though. I like them. I can definitely see what they were going for. I don't know if they nailed it. Um, but yeah, I can definitely see what they were going for with it. Um, would I recommend them? Sure. Uh, yeah, I really don't know what else to say about them other than that. Um, yeah, check them out if you can find them. Uh, so that is going to wrap it up for the Easter special, I guess. Uh, sorry it's such a short video, but I only found the one item. Unless I found something else at Target, in which case you'll see that now. Okay, and in case you can't tell by the change of shirt, I found another item. Uh, now this one actually came about really oddly, because I went back to Target and looked around in their seasonal aisle. All they had was the same... Uh, thing that I picked up at uh, Walmart, which was the Easter Sunday M&Ms. Uh, Walgreens didn't have anything different. And I was like, okay, just going to be one item this year. So I'm sitting here editing the video. And I was thinking about it. And my holiday specials, I usually just put up a title card that says the holiday that it is. And I don't actually show or say in the title uh, what the item is that I'm trying usually because I'm doing multiples and I want it to be a surprise and I want people to watch to see what all I try uh, Unfortunately, I think that's kind of resulting in low views for my holiday specials because they don't really get as many views as my normal ones where I actually show on the thumbnail what item I'm trying and I list it in the title of the video so I think that might be resulting in low clicks, low views for my holiday special videos is because the item's not there. So I was like, well, okay, let me get a photo of the Easter Sunday M&Ms. I'll throw it somewhere in the title card so it's visible. Uh, but I don't actually lose the title card that I've been using for holidays. Um, they're just going to start including small pictures of what I'm going to be trying. Uh, at least that's a future goal. So I was looking for the bag and I started seeing all these other holiday themed M&Ms, uh, Easter themed M&Ms. I was like, what, are these out now? Why am I not finding them? So I start looking into it and it turns out they were all for previous years. I think one of the ones I found was for Easter 2012 and one was for like Easter 2014, which I don't think I tried, did I do an Easter special 2014? I think my first one was 2015, yeah, I did do one 2014, but I don't remember trying that one unless I missed it. Uh, so I was like, okay, well these were all from previous years, so I just have the Easter Sunday. Then I noticed another item, which I'll show you in a second here, but I'm going to tell you who makes it. 
it was another type of Hershey's Kisses. And I was like, you know, I didn't see those at the store either. And I was looking for what year those were, and I couldn't find a year for them. But I did find a picture of them pictured next to the Easter Sunday M&Ms. And I was like, okay, it's got to be from this year if they're being pictured together. So I went back to Walmart looking again through the season a while. Like, maybe I missed it. Maybe they put it out late. Looked through everything. Nowhere to be found. I'm like, all right, well, I'll grab the other groceries I came here for. And I'm walking up to the checkout stand, and I see, like, little candy displays at each checkout stand. I was like, well, let me look up here, see if there's anything, because they had, like, all the Cadbury stuff. I was like, well, let me look here, see if there's anything that jumps out at me. Lo and behold, there it is, on one of the end caps. Why it's not in the season well, I don't know, but uh, it wasn't. So I picked it up. I was thinking about waiting and going back on uh, payday and getting it, but I was like, well, I'm here, it's here, let me grab it now because if I come back, we're going to be closer to Easter, it might not be there, they're going to start switching over for whatever the next holiday is. So let me grab it now, even though I don't really have the money for it right now, but it's like three bucks, no big deal. And that is Hershey's Kisses Carrot Cake Flavored. <laughs> so I love me some carrot cake, I love me some Hershey's Kisses. I don't think I've tried these ones before. They look similar to something I've tried before because they're like orange with a white filling. If I did do these in a previous video, I honestly don't remember. But I went through all this trouble to find these for you guys. Really? Hershey's? You used to be the ones that opened really well. Now you're going to give me the M&M trouble? Ah, nope, got it. Oh, that smells like cream cheese frosting. Mmm. So, again, not sure if I tried these before. I think I do remember trying an orange one with cream filling before, but I think that was a pumpkin one. It might have been for a Halloween episode. Anyway, there it is out of the wrapper. Let's uh, pop one in our mouth and see what we think, because this section of the video is already over five minutes. I've only just told you what the item is. So, cheers. That actually surprisingly tastes like a carrot cake. Um, it took a minute for the flavor to really kick in when I'm first chewing it. I'm like, yeah, I'm just getting kind of like white chocolate Hershey's Kisses. Not really a whole lot to it. Then as it all mixed together and you start to get into the cream filling, uh, you really start to get the carrot uh, flavoring. Um, I think there's nutmeg in carrot, but it's not as like... Nutmeggy is the pumpkin spice stuff. Uh, yeah, once it all blends together in your mouth, though, it definitely tastes like carrot cake. I actually like that a lot. It's been so long since I had carrot cake. They had some at work the other day in the break room, but when I went to get a piece, it was all hard and dried out and stuff. I was like, yeah, no, I'll just go buy one. And now I got one. So, I'm going to split one of these open and see the delicious cream filling. So there you have it, just like pictured on the package. I'm not 100% sure if it's actual cream cheese or just something they made taste like cream cheese. Because the um, carrot cake frosting, for those of you who don't know, is a, a cream cheese based frosting. Um, they add other stuff into it uh, to make it thicker and whatnot, but... Yeah, so this could actually be the frosting, but I don't think it is. I think it's artificially flavored. But yeah, I definitely like those. Um, yeah. If you like carrot cake, definitely check these out, especially if you can find them before Easter, even though you won't see this until Easter. Um... So yeah, not a whole lot else to say about it. Uh, yeah, first when I first ate the first one, I was like, yeah, I can, like I said, I wasn't getting much at first, and I was like, okay, I can kind of see where they're going with it, but then at the end, once everything blended, I was like, wow, that actually tastes like I just took a bite out of carrot cake. 
Um, yeah, definitely recommend them. Okay, so at this point we're going to cut back to the original video where I do the ending. I'm not sure how that's going to edit, but it's going to end. So you'll see my shirt change color, and then we'll have a wrap-up. So as usual, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, rate, subscribe, and share the video. Uh, links and stuff will be in the description eventually, I don't know. So until next time, happy Easter, and cheers.